It's time for CIBL Biz Tips, bringing you actionable strategies to grow and improve your business. Prepare to become civilized. What's up, Central Illinois? Welcome to CIBL Biz Tips, where we bring you concepts and strategies to help grow your Central Illinois business. Today, we're back with Nick Gentile and John DeFreitas from Town & Country Bank. They are commercial lenders in Springfield. We've been talking about how to start your podcast, how to get it launched, what equipment you need, how to prep your guests. And today, I think we're going to talk a little bit about how to get that onto podcasting platforms. Does that sound right, John and Nick? Yep. Yeah, so obviously we talked about how you guys use Zoom and you record and everything, but after it's edited, how do you get that into YouTube and uh, Apple and Spotify? Or, and what platforms do you use and are there any that you avoid? Very good question. So obviously we've talked a little bit about like the way that you guys found the podcast, I think was you saw some of the short clips video wise that we've posted on LinkedIn. Yep. Um, so obviously we recorded the video through zoom. We talked about editing the video on um, open shot. And then all we do from there is we save those edited videos and we upload them that we upload the big podcast, the full episode to YouTube and it takes a little bit to upload it, but you get the full episode to YouTube and then you can edit that full episode using OpenShot or whatever editing software you want to use into the smaller bits. And that's kind of your lead magnet that you can put on social media. So you can put a you know, 10, 15, 20 second clip of a higher value piece of content to try to drive traffic. And then we'll link, you know, the full episode underneath, you know, in the, the body of the, the post. So like say, you know, here's Nick and John explaining how to start a podcast, catch the full episode here. So um, we'll upload it directly. Once we get it edited, we'll get the full episode um, saved and upload that directly to YouTube. The tricky one is like you asked, John, obviously you've got Apple, you've got Spotify, Stitcher, Google podcast, and probably a bunch of others that I'm not thinking of. So how do you get it to all those? So this is one we researched for a while and we found the easiest and cheapest way was to use a platform called Anchor, A-N-C-H-O-R. And their website is called anchor.fm. So it is a podcast platform, podcast uploading platform. So you upload your audio and now you can also do video on Spotify. So you can upload a video if you want but we up upload the audio version of the podcast because when you record through Zoom and you download it to your computer, it gives you an audio and a video file. So we use both. So the audio file will upload to um, Anchor. And then what Anchor does is it gets the file together. You can put all your show notes in there and we usually schedule it. Garrett, is it fr I think Fridays typically is when we yep. schedule Fridays, um, things go out. So we'll schedule it, hit schedule. And then on the scheduled date, it blasts it out to all those, to the Google, Spotify, Stitcher, Apple. Um, so it does it all for you. All you have to do is upload it to anchor and then it spits out the podcast to all the other platforms for you. So it makes you look like, you know what you're doing, which is Garrett and I are really good at faking it. <laughs> so <laughs> Now, now you're not overwhelmed now, are you guys? No, <laughs> not at all. Yeah. That, that's what John's like here for. Up... Right, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Nick, gonna... Nick's sitting over here saying, John, are you taking good notes right now? Yeah, exactly. Well, the good news is we've got this whole thing recorded. So I was just thinking yeah. we could just go back and watch it. We don't even exactly. know it's now. It's great. Yep, for sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. It, I know it sounds like a lot. Once you get in the groove, it probably took us three, four, five episodes to really get, really figure out how to get in the groove. It It's now just a part of our schedule. I mean, um, for me, Garrett and I are early risers. So I get up in the morning and I do some work on the computer before I start doing emails or whatever I'm doing. I just edit it real quick, put it together, and let it start downloading while I'm doing my work. So it's pretty it's pretty seamless. You just have to remember to do it on a weekly or however 
frequently you're doing your podcast and yeah. we do it weekly. So it's, it's not too bad. I'm lucky for the fact that I have Derek because my attention span is pretty short sometimes. So, and uh, he continues to say he enjoys doing some of that side of it. So I, I, I won't lie. I fall back a lot on him for, for the editing and things as far as that goes, which it sounds like, Nick, are you going to be the one that does all the editing then and, and all that type of stuff? <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to fall back on John, but he also has a short attention span. So uh, we might be out of luck there. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll nice. see. I mean, it, it's one of those things that it's very obvious listening to the two of you talk about your podcast that um, there are a lot of responsibilities that very clearly have to be split up. Uh, you know, it's nice that you're doing it in a, in a, you know, a group with the two of you both being involved. Um, you could split up the responsibilities, but uh, we'll definitely have to figure that out as we go. I'm sure it'll be a fluid uh, situation at first. You probably figure out the things you like to do, the things you don't like to do. Um, it's probably like house chores in that way, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Oh Perfect. yeah. Yeah. So, so you guys, uh, do you guys do something before the podcast to get like amped up? Do you like do some push ups or meet in the hallway and smack each other in the face or anything yep. like that? <laughs> we listen to Motley Crue and, yeah. and start screaming. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A little moshing. Yep. It's, it, yep. it's so funny because sometimes, I mean, I think it's just real life that, you know, you see people out and, and we by far, um, don't have it together. It, it may seem like that to some individuals, but, you know, we can be running around, um, and, uh, you know, two minutes to be like, are you ready? Are you ready? What are we doing here? And it just seems to work for us as far as that goes. I feel like if we planned it too much that it wouldn't have turned out to what it is. I feel like if we, I don't want to say we don't take it serious because we do, but I think if we, if we set too much of an agenda and too much of a plan that wouldn't work for either one of us. Yeah, I think yeah. every podcast takes on a personality after a while, and you guys have done a good job of of molding yours to your personal personalities. <laughs> where it's it's, I mean, it's laid back. It's not. I as somebody who's now been a guest and is a guest at this exact moment, it's it is very relaxed, and I think that there's a benefit to the content uh, when you have that environment set up, whether it's on purpose or not. So yeah, for uh, sure, there's yeah. something to yeah. that for sure. As long as you, yeah, keep a keep it lighthearted. Most people, it's just it's like being on TV. You're ner- it's like the uh, Talladega Nights. You don't know what to do with your hands. Yeah, <laughs> with my hands, but, with my hands. Yeah, just the first text I got talk. from John this morning is, it said, uh, "I'm nervous." So, yeah, and he did he did great. Yeah, it's yeah. it's funny because Derek is laid back all the time. It really doesn't matter. He's got a real good good flow as far as you know if we go into a business meeting together he can normally calm my nerves pretty easy because he's laid back um when we first started doing this i was like john if john you were the one messaging nick saying he's nervous i was nervous i'm like holy cow i don't mind talking in front of people but now you feel like you're in a spotlight and you know i'm if somebody would have had a a close-up camera of my hands i was probably sweating like crazy (laughs) and nervous to where you could tell Derek was just Derek. he was laid back he was chill he was good and and now it's like the nerves are gone you've done it a few times if you mess up and say something you didn't mean to that's just a human effect like i talked about earlier things are going to happen and um, that makes it more real in my opinion this is our chance garrett you got to tell the story speak talking about different demeanors of our proposal Okay. So I had been not quite a year into the insurance gig and, you know, for anybody else that's new into a sales role or, you know, to where it's a commission based and not that, you know, we're a highly stressed um, organization where they put, you know, a lot of stress on us as far as production, but it was a big deal that Derek and I were driving a couple hours away from. We had prepped quite a bit. I mean, this was one we actually did do a lot of plans. I think we came into the office like nine, 10 o'clock at night, one night, getting things prepped. Um, because you know, in the business world, nothing ever flows the way that it's supposed to. So we take off in the morning, we've got everything ready. We get to the uh, location that we're going into and I'm like, Hey man, do you have our proposals? And Derek's like, Nope. And I'm like, I left those on your desk. And he's like, I don't have them. You know, Derek is a more seasoned veteran in the insurance side to where, you know, I don't want to say it wasn't going to make or break his life if we won or lost the account. To me, it was a big deal because this was going to be one of the first larger, larger accounts that I had landed. 
And I'm just like, I'm sure my face was as white as a ghost. I'm freaking out. And Derek's like, we got this, man. We're good to go. It's don't worry about it. And uh, needless to say, we, he, we just let it roll. Nobody knew any different. Yeah, you know, we went in and, and, and did we win the account? No, we didn't win the account, but we did end up winning the account later on down the road. So, but uh, yeah, it's Derek's demeanor by far helps me out because I'm more of the overthinker and nervous person to where he's just pretty chill, laid back. And uh, it's a good ebb and flow between the two of us for sure. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, there may yeah. have been some other words that were said at that time. That oh man, it, yeah. it, that, that it looked like someone had just shot his dog. Like his, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, they don't even know. They don't even know. They don't know anything about insurance. All we gotta do is just throw something in front of them, and we'll present it. Yeah, he's like, that's. What, I mean, technology was great. We used what was our you know notes of a proposal and use that to hand to them. And we used our technology of our laptops and computers and stuff to roll through it. And there you go. it went as good as any other meeting, but yeah, initially I don't think I would react like that today. Cause I'm not as nervous as what I, you know, was 10 months into the business. But at that point it was a big momentum deal for me. And I was just like, you don't have, I mean, yeah, if, if we could have had a camera, that would have been, we would have won some money on a funniest videos show somewhere. <laughs> <for sure. laughs> oh Yeah. So anyway, anchor.fm is what we use. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So anchor, YouTube, those are where we upload them to cut it into small bites, put them on social media, try to drive traffic. Um, there's a, a lot of other options. Like we mentioned in the previous session, you can try to do a paid service. You can outsource it to someone else and you just record it. And it's their headache after that. It does typically cost some money. Um, Usually you're looking from between five to $10,000 a year for a very basic service up to, you know, some that do all of it for 20, 30, 40,000. So just wow. depends on how big yeah. you want to get, how much money you want to spend and how much time you have to do it. So uh, Garrett and I opt for the free or minimal cost versions. So we do a lot of the work on our own and it, it works once you get into a flow, it's just a part of our schedule. So anything else guys? All right. Well, I think we can wrap this one up then. Thanks for listening to CIBL Biz Tips. Until next time, y'all have been civilized. Take care. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Central Illinois Business Leaders Podcast. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash CIBL podcast. You can also follow us on LinkedIn. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a review. It's the civilized thing to do.